Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's. It has been a really nice end of the week when it comes to weather. The temperatures have been up and the sun has been out, but we are looking at changes as we head into the weekend. So don't look forward to any more sunsets like we got over the past couple of days. This was Thursday. Thanks to Anthony for sending in from Duck Lake State Park. Beautiful sunset out there today. Those clouds came in as the sun went down this afternoon, but there was still some time to enjoy it out there. And Linda got this view from the Saugatuck Dunes. Another great shot there sent in to us here at 13 on your side. Of course, if you want to send us a photo, you can always find me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on the X Twitter, Instagram and threads. When it came to temperatures out there today, hit a high at 53 in Grand Rapids, 52 Muskegon and 52 in Holland as well. Those temperatures above average for this time of the year should only be around 36. Our forecast was for 50. We hit 53. That's just inside three degrees, bringing our accuracy streak now to six days in a row. Just five misses in the last month of forecasting. Tomorrow, look for temperatures that go down. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in blue as cooler temperatures are in view. The 13 Weather Ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. And when it comes to those temperatures out there, it's going to be a fairly mild night for this time of the year. As of about 1030, we were down to 41 in Grand Rapids, 42 in Muskegon, also 41 in Holland, only places in the 30s, Fremont and Big Rapids up to the north in Ionia at 39. The winds out there, not going to be a big factor tonight, pretty calm. But as we head toward tomorrow, these will pick up some. And even with the lack of sunshine in our forecast tomorrow, we should still see mild temperatures. Cloudy day of temperatures that work their way up into the 40s by the afternoon. The other thing that comes in the afternoon tomorrow is going to be some chances for rain. We'll see showers possible by the afternoon across the region. That temperature will be up to 48. Showers continue into early Sunday, but temperatures don't really fall. High 46 for the back half of the weekend. Radar out there right now showing a little bit of light rain just to the north of our viewing area up toward US 10. Not really expecting much in the way of any kind of significant rain chances until we get to this moisture back down to the south and west. That'll travel into West Michigan as we head through the overnight and into uh, Saturday. That rain again popping up by the afternoon. Hour by hour forecast here shows the cloud cover continue to increase tonight. We're pretty cloudy as we head through early Saturday morning. Rain chances again hold off until the afternoon. You may see it first along the lake shore as we head through the late afternoon, but most of us not going to see rain till tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Saturday rain chances continue into early Sunday with a few scattered showers before noon. After that, most of the rain pushes out. That'll be on the east side of the state. We're cloudy through the end of your Sunday, but as we head into Monday, cold air dips into the region and so does lake effect rain and snow may see some minor accumulations along the lake shore by the time that system is all said and done. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. That shows temperatures that'll hold in the 40s through the weekend with that rain pushing through. Small snow chance on Monday with some lake effect showers also possible. We don't stay cool for long. Our temperatures will boost back into the 40s by Wednesday. First day of winter looks like a high of 42. Small rain and snow chances through Christmas, but chances for it to stick not looking so good. Speaking of that forecast, our weather has been pretty warm, but warm weather in summer can lead to algae blooms and the Michigan Department of Natural Resources will invest $4 million to help reduce harmful algae blooms in the state. That money is coming from Ducks Unlimited as well as the American Rescue Plan Act and Lake Erie in Saginaw Bay Wetland Cons Conservation Program funds. Harmful algae blooms have become a frequent problem in western Lake Erie and the Saginaw Bay. They're caused by increased levels of nutrients from fertilizers, wastewater and stormwater runoff, but can also be toxic to wildlife, pets and people. And while warm weather has meant little snow, we are still in the respiratory virus season. And tonight, a warning for parents of infants. Hospitals across Michigan are seeing a rise in pediatric cases of RSV. The majority of patients hospitalized with the respiratory virus are less than two years old. Currently, there are 23 patients at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital with RSV. Corwell Health urges patient, parents of infants to talk to their pediatricians about getting the RSV antibody treatment to slow the spread. Despite the increased numbers, there is a, th this surge is not as bad as last year's. In 2022, we saw an unprecedented winter of extremely high
volumes of patients needing acute care, both in our emergency departments and our hospital that really uh, threatened to overwhelm our, our system. Uh, this year, we are really seeing back to what we would call a true typical winter surge. Helen DeVos is limiting visitors to two during the day and one overnight. They also say to be prepared for longer wait times, care in non-traditional areas, and the potential for the doubling up on rooms. And another statewide health alert as professionals are urging Michigan residents to get their flu shots. Clinicians say there's still time to protect yourself by getting vaccinated now ahead of peak flu season. The number of Michiganders with flu shots has fallen 10% below last year's vaccination rate. Typically, we follow what's happening in the southern states, which it's starting to really explode in numbers down there. So it is coming for us. The good news is that there is still time to get vaccinated. So now is the time. Get vaccinated so you can get protected during this season. We're currently halfway through the flu season and the vaccination rate is falling while the number of hospitalizations is rising. Michigan is currently only 60 percent told toward its seasonal goal of 4 million residents having their flu shots. Those above average temperatures and sunshine we keep talking about that have been in the forecast for the last several days. Does that mean we're out of chances for a white Christmas though? Meteorologist Samantha Jacks breaks it down. Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? Well, chances are it's going to look more like this than anything else. Christmas is just 10 days away and chances of real snow remain slim. That combined with above average temperatures will keep our waters warm and our snowballs brown. To technically call it a white Christmas, we need an inch or more of snow on the ground. This time last year we had 17 inches and a blizzard that shut down large portions of the country. Fast forward to today and we're already 14 inches below average for the season. And in the last 10 years, 50% of our Christmases have met the mark. This year, El Nino has a strong hold on our atmosphere, likely keeping us warm and dry most of the season. And climate data shows that the 12 days of Christmas have warmed by seven degrees since 1969. So while Santa's sled might struggle a little on its own this year, the reindeer are sure to lead them all the way. And while you may not need one for Christmas, given our forecast, you can help students at the Grand Rapids Public Schools stay warm this winter by donating to the district's warmth drive. The event kicked off on December 1st, and GRPS will be accepting donations of new and gently used coats, hats, mittens, and socks through March. The donations will then be given to elementary students within the district. Swift Printing in Grand Rapids is just one of many drop-off locations. The company president says this is the best time of year to accept donations. Even going through our own coat closet, you haven't worn a coat in a couple years. If it's gently used, we'll take it, you know. And so just being able to take the time to help kids that want to stay warm so they can enjoy playing outside. You know, it's important that no one should have to be uh, cold this holiday season. The winter gear is being handed out to students as it comes in. You'll find the full list of drop-off locations on this story via 13onyoursign.com. And finally tonight, check this out. For the first time since the pandemic, some Michigan kids are getting an exclusive flight to the North Pole. Kids and their families were able to get on board a real aircraft to see Santa Claus. We were also able to get a tour of their holiday adventure. Flight number 9807, scheduled for the North Pole this morning. We're taking children from seven different hospitals on a ride to the North Pole. He wears like a red suit and he has black boots. Yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm going to get presents. Hi, welcome aboard. It really does our so a lot of good to know that we're bringing happiness to these sick children. It means everything. He was diagnosed with kin kidney failure while he was in my, my belly. Blood work, the hospital visits, the medications, and then eventually he'll need a, you know, a transplant and all that. But we're just taking it day by day. They're the best. They're the most special passengers we ever carry. It's, uh, it's an honor. So he's five years old. He was diagnosed in January of 2023 with embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. We get weekly chemo. It's nice to get away. It's a rare moment nowadays, especially for the last year. It seems like it's just 
one stressor on top of another. So it's nice to have these kind of opportunities to be able to come out and, and enjoy the day and not have to worry about anything else. for all of our volunteers, especially the lovely women of Silverliner International. Ladies, you are the coolest. They have a fun filled day. They're happy. Their parents look happy. He's never been on a plane before. We've been hyping him up for the last week, so he really in, is enjoying it. It's really cool how much they do for him. When his doctor told us about it, we were super excited. I'm really excited. The doctors say they see a, an improvement of the children after the flight. Welcome to the North Pole, where the local time is Christmas present. Here comes the boys and girls. Oh my gosh, how are you? Welcome to the North Pole. I need a hug. How are you? <laughs> you have a nice ride? A lot of people care in this world. We always don't hear that, but they do care. What a great story. And now that you're up to date with the latest weather and news headlines from here in West Michigan and some holiday news, of course, you can always find more online at 13 yourside.com or by downloading our news and weather apps. For now, though, thanks for watching 13 Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.